Hello guys, welcome to the channel. It's Rad uh, from Radko Tarot and this is going to be a Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising weekly tarot reading April 15 to April 21st, 2019. And uh, as I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for Aquarius star sign. And for that reason, the reading uh, is going to relate to different stuff and is going to resonate in a different way with uh, every single different Aquarius. So uh, if you want, however, your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot and to tell you what is going to happen with it um, in the future, just like I'm doing for the few examples in this video, then that is the subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And uh, there you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. So that being said, going to the Capricorns, um, to the uh, Aquarius, excuse me, week, the first card that we do have for them that is going to be the Queen of Cups, which is the general topic of the week followed by the second card which is the negative approach toward the situation that is going to be the eight of cups then the third card of uh, the situ of uh, the week which is the positive approach toward the situation that is going to be the three of cups and the last one which is the final outcome of growth should you follow the guidance of tarot that will be the emperor so once again queen of cups then it is the three of cups, uh, the uh, eight of cups, excuse me. After that, it is the three of cups. And finally, we do have the emperor card. So for what it seems, Aquarius is, um, well, someone will want you to stay. It is how I can summarize the reading. So that person here, a queen of cups, which is uh, the general topic of the week, person I'm saying it doesn't necessarily have to be a woman it could be a man but that person is gonna beg you to stay because they simply cannot part with you because for most of you you are all that they got okay this person does understand your grief this person does understand does understand you know uh, your pain as well and that person here, the Queen of Cups, is willing to do whatever it's needed in order to take the pain away. Now, as that could be, you know, your partner in relationship or a friend of yours, that could be as well someone uh, circumstantial in the sense of like a third party. Let's say that you and your husband are about to uh, get divorced and that is the mother of your husband begging you not to do so because she doesn't want to lose you and so on and so forth. Now, uh, the thing here is that you should not brag about what kind of support you do have, all right? But you rather need to be very, very discreet when you are sharing things with that woman uh, or with that person that is, because these things are going to be very emotional and that person is going to share with you as well very emotional uh, stuff. The accompanied card that is going to be uh, the hangman and uh, the formation here, it is a passive supporter. So that person is going to reassure you that things are going to be just fine. Things are going to be okay. Just a little more patience is needed uh, <clears throat> for the things to resolve on literally their own accord. So not that just this person knows your your pain and your nature but as well that person knows the nature of the uh, of the situation as well that person does have the necessary means in order to traverse that situation just what they're gonna ask you is to have a little bit more patience so patience so they can work their magic out and the next card it is tightly related here which is the eight of cups and the negative approach toward the situation you know you walking away it's simply how can be interpreted in this um in this specific case salvaging the situation recognizing it that it is a uh um, unsatisfiable for yourself walking away from it parting 
ways uh, with either current relationship or a current project, you know, or a friendship. It will be different for every single one of you, hoping that you will have a, a better thing emerging in the future. Now, as this card sits on a negative position, it is unlikely that you are going to have that good thing in the near future as the card sits on a negative position. The company that is going to be the Ten of, the ten of Swords and man, that speaks for itself, you know. The formation here, it is a um, passive neutrals and uh, to me, unless staying in the situation itself, there is no win-win uh, situation, should I say that way, because either way, going for the Ten of Swords, being very drastical into your, uh, into your approach, you know, severing ties without taking under account how much pain you cause, it's gonna just make the things break and at the end of the day, you are not going to be able to force that um, era you want uh, in your life. For the simple reason here from the follow up and even on the, on the next card is that you are not just quite done with your current undertaking with that thing which this person is begging you to stay a little bit longer so they can traverse the thing so they can make the, 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 the whole environment or the situation much better for you to thrive. Walking away here, it seems a, a very premature move, very irresponsible move, and a move that there will be no coming back from, all right? So once you decide, okay, I'm going to go for the divorce, for example, and you uh, sign the paper, there is no coming back from it, all right? So you have to be very aware what you're doing with these cards. So the uh, positive approach toward the situation here, that is the Three of Cups. So cooperation, as through cooperating with the Queen of Cups, as a person that manifests, you are to expand your vision. Basically, you are to see that the situation is not as, as bad as it seems. It is not as helpless as it seems. And through expanding your vision and sharing your emotional state, that is very important. So you should not withdraw or withhold, excuse me, any kind of emotions that you do have toward the situation itself, being that, for example, if your marriage isn't going on very well and that is the mother of your wife or the mother of your husband, for example, you should not save her the poignant part of the matter saying why you feel and you think that your marriage isn't working out. That is just for an example. With the Three of Cups, should you allow that person to work their magic through? Throughout the week, even throughout the week, you are to see that actually the, the, the efforts of the Queen of Cups are starting to yield results. The accompanied card with the Three of um, cups that is going to be the eight of wands so formation is passive enemies here and another confirmation that you don't need anything new or rather like you don't need anything else in order to fulfill your emotional needs here as um this card as a high risk, high reward thing, it completely deprives you from the stability of the tree of wands should you, should you go there. And the whole formation here is realization that your happiness still resides in the current situation. Even if the current situation seem despondent and poignant at this very moment, that person is going to traverse it into a, a happy, happy thing for you, should you give them the time, should you be patient, patient a little bit to allow them, like I said, to work their magic. And as a result of all that, guys, we do have the Emperor, so sustainability has been achieved. And as well, you are to show yourself as a, a very reliable person, someone who is not giving up that easily, someone who does have faith into the goodness of people as well. Through that, not just the cooperation with the Queen of Cups is going to uh, stabilize either your marriage, your career, your project, your friendships, it depends what your situation is, but as well it's going to structure it in a such a way that you are going to have more control that you ever had upon that situation, either your marriage or career or you name it. With that control, you will be able to face the ups and downs into this situation that every daily routine presents, you know, that on the daily basis with much more ease. So there won't be any more, um, you know, uh, hectic wavering and as well uh, the feeling of insecurity. And through that, you will have as well a, a lot of personal time to take care for yourself as well. 
doing something amusing that is going to make you happy. The accompanied card that is going to be the uh, five of wands and that is the best card traversing poignant situation into a, a positive successful situation and it does points as well for a, a very big dynamic where things especially with the emperor where things are falling into their places which you having the leash there having the uh, the the steeds and dictating the rules of the game only have a little bit of a faith of this person that manifested the start of the week just as this person have faith in you so that being said Aquarius, this was your weekly tarot reading for april 15th to april 21st 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh as a general reading is going to uh, relate to different stuff and is going to resonate in a different way with every single different Aquarius. But should you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot, just like I did for the few examples in this video and to tell you what is going to happen with it in its future, that is a subject of a private reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for the record readings and $15 for the private call readings. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.